very often we receive uh, questions about importing categories and locations into directory plugin so here i will show you how to do that go to your administration directory kit now we have categories and locations here let's start with categories so here we have some predefined categories if you want to remove all of that just click here and delete apply now let's say you want to add category like car we will put this into our root we say car for this this is not so important but you can check these uh, icons and uh, what you want here so now we have car so let's put some car makers so add category and now we select car as parent and in title we have some special feature so now put like uh, Volkswagen Audi BMW Fiat and uh, simply save that you see now we have this car makers also you can repeat this for many categories and on the home page select categories you can see this car now select car and then we have this our subcategories I want also to show you uh, these categories support multiple views so in the settings Here you will find these multiple views, and we can, for example, change this to this one single click drop down and save changes. Let's try the flash here. And now we have this nice single tree field here. Also, I want to mention if you need to import large amount of listings. You can use our plugin of course so here we have plugin for import export and this plugin support import from any csv or xml file we will map this uh, fields we have description here on the video also and uh, what i want to mention related to categories if you have in this import file if you have these categories which we don't have on the website it will be auto created so import plugin will auto create these categories you don't need to create that manually okay that's categories let's show locations basically thing is same here you can remove all the locations add one location let's say i want to add a country like uh, croatia save changes again add location and now we select croatia we can put some cities here for example zagreb Zagreb, split dubrovnik okay save that so same thing now we have these multiple locations included here let's check home page okay save croatia and we have this here hold fine i want to mention for locations you have same feature as for categories and here in the field so you can change that if you want so 
Let's check this version. That's so nice, so we have prefix now. That's how kind of easily add your own locations and import them into your portal. Very often also uh, our clients asking how to put like one page where we will show all the categories. We have some examples here for for a rent in the demo. So you have here this rent located actually listings. We have example for sale. Okay, this for sale example for example is now not configured. So I will show you how to configure that. Click on the edit with Elementor. Let's we won't show it here. So I will click on the edit. We have settings here and query. We have already here example. For example, field five is rent. Oops. I will write. But now I will write sale here. Okay. So now see already updated. So I will update this here. Let's go back to our sale page to check. That's what we want. Sale page. And yes, that's it. Uh, why I put field 5 here? We have some uh, documentation about that here in the documentation. So field 5 is actually propose ID with ID number 5. We have features show exactly the same value so because this is actually can show like uh, if you write sale one it will also be visible but if you sell exactly then it will not be uh, here so field five where you found this five number in the dashboard go to fields and we have proposed fields so here's field 5 and that's why we filter by this field to create this field so here we have values sale and rent and empty value here you see this first one is empty uh, you can also add your own values here and similar thing is with our categories and locations. Usually, when you want to make like a new page with some type of uh, content, so you want to show, for example, listings from one specific category, then best to choose one template or design from the demo which is already like your idea and in that case that page so what we want here we want to duplicate this page without copying every element one per one because we can we can here right click and copy and on the new page we can paste that but that's uh, slow we don't want that we want some quick way because we don't have time and uh, yeah we need plugin for that plugin name is i think post duplicate but just to be sure i will check in our knowledge base which we have the knowledge base in the block and here I will write copy because I want to copy page. And here we already have some instructions from there for that. 
Yeah, so it's that that uh, plugin, duplicate page. Okay, I will install that plugin now here. Duplicate page. It's here. It's very simple plugin. You can also check this detailed instruction on the video in our uh, blog. So is that? That's here. Okay. And now this page is called sale. I will found this page here. Sell pages and sale here. It is. And now we have here duplicate this. Sometimes if you're using WordPress.com, you need to change the view to see this option. Usually that's you know the top you need to change that in the into classic WordPress view. And so yeah, now we want to copy this, duplicate this. Let's found it. Here is our sale page. Oh, it's here. I will now edit this page. I will write, let's say, Zagreb here. For example, or no, I will write to be more actually, yeah, Zagreb because we put card that we have properties. A good example with Zagreb here and publish. Now edit this page with Elementor. You have these pages duplicated and looks exactly the same. Now here I will go here to locations. And we have search location here. Okay. Change this. Seems like copy paste doesn't work here well. Search location is for. But now check our location ID. Zagreb is 113. So we will this number here 113 okay update similar feature you will find also on the on the map you can the file to find similar in, in the search form also also there's there are more opt options here but i'm showing you this result for now that's uh, fine for presentation Okay, so we created this page, we updated, we want to show search location from 113 here, that's Zagreb. And now I want to put this into our menu, of course. To put something in the menu, that's standard WordPress way. Go to appearance and menus. And here I found Zagreb quickly at the menu. I will put this here below sale. Save. Now I will also put select this location so here I will say Zagreb for example I will change this location to Zagreb so to be more nicely. And here I will put some others like that's from Zagreb. Okay, now go to go to home page to check if that works. We have pages 
And here missing Zagreb. Why missing Zagreb here? Let's check in appearance, menus. Here we have Zagreb, so it should be fine. That's menu one. Oh, that's wrong menu. So, yes, if you have multiple, just allow multiple things, it's generate new menus. So, you must put this Zagreb actually of using this golden thing, golden menu. And I will put here in this golden menu. Let's click save. Refresh. Pages. Zagreb. That's it. We have our listing here, which belongs to Zagreb. So that's how you can put your locations, categories, create a menu item with some specific location for some specific category and hope this is helpful for you. If you have any question you can always ask our support team and we will do our best to help you. Also don't forget to check our premium features like uh, view regions import. I will show you quickly here. So we have SVG maps here. You can have multiple maps on the page and that's all supported countries. And when you're using this map, all locations from specific map will be automatically imported into your locations. So you don't need to put them manually. Okay, that's all for now and have a great day.